Once upon a time, many, many years ago, there was a little boy named Kenny who wrote Santa asking him for just one thing, something he wanted more than anything in the world. But Santa never wrote back, and as Christmas approached, Kenny worried that Santa didn't get his letter. The days passed quickly until suddenly it was the night before Christmas. Kenny went to bed, but on that Christmas night, he did not put on his pajamas. No, sir. He wanted to be fully clothed and ready when Santa came. But would Santa come? Would he bring what he had wished for? Kenny yawned and yawned and, uh, and soon drifted off to sleep. In his dream, he heard a noise. His eyes popped open. He listened and listened. Yes, he was certain he had heard something up on the roof. He quickly got out of bed and tiptoed quietly past his parents' bedroom and down the long flight of stairs, trying hard to avoid places where the stairs creaked. When he reached the bottom of the stairs, he crept slowly towards the living room where the tall Christmas tree stood. The Christmas tree lights flickered on and off, on and off, but there was something hidden in the shadows. Then it moved. There was something hiding behind the Christmas tree. He saw a long, long white beard and silver white hair and a big red belly sticking way out there. Kenny grinned. It was Santa. Santa was playing a trick. That funny Santa was trying to hide his big belly behind the Christmas tree. Kenny said, Santa? Isn't there something tonight you must do to make kids' dreams come true? Santa's face turned a deep, deep red, and this is what dear Santa said. There'll be no Christmas, Kenny, no Christmas this year. I have problems, and it's dreadful, I fear. Coming down the chimney, I lost my boot and my red Christmas jacket is torn and covered with soot. And worst of all, Rudolph's nose is not shining bright. That sad little reindeer wandered off in the night. A tear rolled down Santa's cheek. Kenny moved close and stood at Santa's feet. He took Santa's hand and held it tight. Don't worry, Santa, said Kenny. I'll help you tonight. I know everything will be all right. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. Just one toy for each girl and boy makes a dream come true. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. And Santa, there's no Christmas without Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, and you. In an instant, Kenny climbed up the chimney and found Santa's lost boot. It had been a jagged, loose brick that had caught Santa's boot and torn Santa's red suit. He cleaned and polished it and gave it to Santa. Then he ran to his mother's sewing box and found a sewing needle and a large spool of red thread. He had watched his mother sew his shirt, so he knew exactly what to do. He worked frantically, and before long he had fixed the long tear in Santa's red Christmas suit. 
He got some paper towel and did his best to clean off the soot. But no matter how hard he rubbed, the soot stayed on Santa's hand. We've got to get going, Santa, Kenny said. From the fridge, Kenny took a bag of apples. He winked at Santa, cause he knew what an apple could do. Then together, Kenny and Santa climbed up the chimney and onto the roof. Santa's sleigh and all the reindeer were waiting patiently, all except Rudolph, who was gone. Kenny looked down over the roof and saw prints in the snow that had been made by Rudolph's hoofs. Rudolph was walking to a distant house that looked over the small town. Come on, Santa, Kenny said. I know where Rudolph's going. I'll show you the way. Santa snapped the reins and off they flew, up and into the night. Far below Christmas lights shine so bright. Where can he be, Santa said. Over there, Santa, he's gone that away. Kenny knew that Tink and Lee's fresh produce farm was on the hill. Now Tink and Lee were really nice people, but even so, Kenny knew they wouldn't want a deer eating their crop, even if it was Rudolph. Just then, Kenny saw a flashing red light. It was Rudolph's nose, but it wasn't very bright. He's over there, Santa, see him? He's over there. Santa circled the small farm, and in an instant, Santa landed that long, long, long sleigh, just seconds before Rudolph reached the fence. Kenny quickly jumped out and ran to Rudolph and led him away from the vegetable garden and back to the sleigh. You rascal, Santa said as he gave Rudolph a big hug. Then Santa harnessed Rudolph to the front of the line where he belonged. While Santa was tightening the harness, Kenny took out the bag of apples and fed every reindeer an apple, one by one. Then he gave Rudolph the biggest, reddest one. Well, wouldn't you know, just as soon as Rudolph ate that big, juicy red apple, his nose lit up bright. There'd be no problem sleigh flying that night. Now, Santa, Kenny said, you had better be on your way. You've got kids' presents to deliver. I can walk home. I'll be okay. Santa stepped up into the sleigh, smiled and waved, then snapped the long reins and yelled, up, up, and away. In a flash, all the reindeer and sleigh were high in the sky, with Rudolph, the bright-nosed reindeer, leading the way. It was then that Kenny wondered if, if Santa had left a special gift for him, or did Santa forget? Would there be anything for Kenny under the Christmas tree? Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. Just one toy for each girl and boy makes a dream come true. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. And Santa, there's no Christmas without Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, and you. Well, bright and early the next morning, Kenny's mother found her empty spool of red thread and wondered who could have used it. And where was that bag of apples that were meant for the pie? And Kenny's father couldn't figure out how all those strange tracks got up on the roof. And what was that animal that walked across the lawn? And they both wondered how all that chimney soot had got tracked on the floor. And why wasn't Kenny down at the tree? My goodness, where can that boy be? Kenny's mother yelled, Kenny, come down. There's a big present here that we've found. It's from Santa. 
In a flash, Kenny ran down the stairs to the tree. His eyes almost popped right out of his head with what he did see, because there, hiding behind the tall Christmas tree, was the biggest Christmas present he ever did see. Surely there was a mile of bright red paper covering it, and on it was a picture of Santa with a long, long white beard and silver white hair and a big red Santa belly sticking way out there. Wow, Kenny said as he tore off the paper and looked and stared inside. Then he smiled a smile so big and so wide Santa had not forgotten. It was there, his treasure, a long bright red sleigh, just like the one he had dreamed about. And with it was a card, and the words on it said, to Santa's best little helper ever. And it was signed, from Santa and all the gang. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. And last but not least, dear old Rudolph. And right in the middle of that big red sleigh was a large sooty handprint. Mom and Dad wondered how it got there, but Kenny knew. Yes, Kenny knew how it got there. That Christmas was so long ago, and it was so magical. Isn't that what Christmas is when you're a child? Kenny has told this story many, many times over the years, and people just laugh, and they say it's a cute story, but nobody believes it happened. How could it? But Kenny knew everything that happened that night was true, and it was his best Christmas ever. Not just because he got that beautiful long red sleigh of his dreams, but because on that Christmas night, Kenny learned that helping those in need was the very best gift you can give. And he was always proud that he was able to help Santa and Rudolph. And maybe because he did that good deed on that Christmas night, kids all over the world got their gifts on Christmas morning. And ever since that night, Kenny has tried to do a good deed whenever he can. And he still likes those big red shiny apples because he knows what good deeds and apples can do. That's the magic of Christmas. And by the way, that big sooty handprint is still on Kenny's sleigh. Believe it or not, it could never be washed away. How do I know? Haven't you guessed? It was my sleigh. My name is Kenny. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. Just one toy for each girl and boy makes a dream come true. Kids need a Christmas. Kids need a Christmas. And Santa, there's no Christmas without Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Thank you.